research explorer in time and space. Uncharted region of the planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past. transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. Captain? Captain? Captain Zero! Electro chamber. Tetro, is the captain there? No, Jet. He's over at the rocket platform. Be back in a minute. Okay, thanks. Man, I wonder if I could activate the sound wave segregator and bring in something from the past. Let's see now. The sound waves are coming in all right. Now I'll just... Down. What's going on? I don't know, Captain. I was just trying to bring in something from the past, but suddenly this happened. According to the setting, these sound waves are coming in from the year 1778, New Jersey area in the United States. But well, what's happening? Apparently, you've picked up the Battle of Monmouth during the American Revolutionary War. Well, I'll be a serrated vertical force. You suppose we could activate the time machine and see what's going on? All right. Set it for Monmouth, New Jersey, in the United States, June 1778. Yes, sir. All set, Jeff? Yes, sir. Increase the bomb to 8 million. Stand by to activate the cycle reactor. Right. Petro. Yes, sir. Stand by for operation of the time machine. Yes, sir. The electrode generators, 8.991. Slice drawn output. 4.372, set the trilotron at 6.834. All set, sir. Ready, Jet? Ready, sir. Ready, lecture chamber? Ready, sir. Stand by for signal. Activate the cycle reactor. Steady. Projecting back into time. Good. We've cracked the fourth dimension. 1950, 1900, 1850, increase middle phase. Hold it. 1790, 80, stand by. 1778, cut the cycle reactor and lock it. Level the power, Tetro. Yes, sir. All right, Jet, stand by to activate the fuse screen. Yes, sir. at this point. Refocus up the hill there, on the American side.
Hatfield? I don't know. We've got to find a way to get you back. Where you be, John? There. Oh. We've got to get you back, Molly. There's no time to argue, John. Fire up that can. I'm saying it. There never was any use arguing with the likes of you. Stay your back, Mal. It's up to you, John. You've got the only cannon in this section, and there's nobody else to man it. Four men falling from the heat and from their blasted bullets. Aye, I know. Be seeing you, John. Aye. I hope. You'll be seeing me. Here's water. Hey. Pour some on old Nelly here. Easy. Hey, stand aside. Stand by to activate the materialization chamber. We've got to get her off the battlefield. Throw the switch. Electroway condenser are opening. Turboid activity is increasing. Voltage is building up. Spark gaps are closing. Transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to materialize. She's coming in. She's in. Get, get a chair. Hurry. Yes, sir.
Is she badly hurt? I don't know. Wire. I gotta get wire to the man. British. No, madam. We're not British. We're your friends. I got no friends who wear uniforms that like to yawn. You're British, that's what you are. No, madam. We're not British. Well, am I? How did I get here? You were hit on the battlefield, so we brought you here. Hit? Why, I merely stubbed me toe. And what right had you to carry me off? But well, we were only trying to save your life. You keep out of this. I'm addressing the general here. Now, if you're not British, then why ain't y'all fighting them? Now, Man, please, madam. she certainly recovered fast. Why? Please, madam, relax. Just, just sit down for a minute. Oh, so that's the way it is. You're trying to keep me off the battlefield. You're trying to stop me from carrying water to the men. No, ma'am. When you know it's a scorching hot day out there with more of them falling from the heat than from your blasted bullets. Please, ma'am. Well, you can't stop. stop me. The men need water, and I am bring it to them. Please, madam, put down the globe. We won't even try to stop you. You better not try. Now show me the way out of here before I bounce this ball off your head. But a battlefield's no place for a woman. Well, you British pup. May have a battlefield, no place for your dainty British lassies, but I ain't the likes of them. When there's fighting to be done, I'll fight with the rest of them. Now show me the way out of here. Please, madam, suppose I send you back behind the line so the men can... Behind the lines, warn you! Tell me stop, thank you. Yeah. I imagine you can. And I'll go back where I was, if you please. Near me brave husband John. Just step into the chamber there. No Britisher's gonna get the best of me. Wait a minute, this is a trick. There's no way out of there. Just step into the chamber, madam, and then you'll find yourself right back where you were. Oh, and uh, here's your bucket. Oh, thank you. I guess you can't be British after all. No. Well, no hard feelings then. Molly Hayes ain't one to bear a grudge. Good. Just step into the chamber. And stand by. Well, I'm standing. I'll open the door. Yeah, throw the switch, quick. Captain, who in the world is she? Don't you know? No, who? Molly Hayes. Molly Pitcher Hayes. Well, open the door. Activation mm -hmm. are opening. Turboid activity is increasing. Voltage is building up. Bark gaps are closing. She's transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to dematerialize. There she goes. She's gone. Fainted with the heat. Molly! Molly Pitcher! Water! Coming! Water, Molly! There's Molly in her pitcher. Molly, over here! Over here! Thanks, Bob. John, if they capture this hill, we're done for. Nobody's gonna capture anything while I'm here. Pardon. Yes, sir. We've got to silence that cannon on the hill. Knock it out at all costs. Yes, sir. Corporal. I don't know, Molly. I don't know. I'm afraid they got too many men. John! One American's worth 20 Britishers, and don't you forget it. Molly, you got enough spirit for the whole blasted army. You British dogs! You better go back, Molly. The battle's getting worse. Please, Molly. Go back. Go back and twiddle me thumbs while you're out here fighting? No. Molly! I'll be right back, John. Give him one for me. Hey! There, 
Doors left for your muskets. Good shot, Johnny. Washington will be proud of you this day. Come on! Hi. Would this day would end. shall be coming through. Come back. I gotta get you out of here. Back. Lean on me. Try to stand up. Oh, you harder, John. You Try harder. Go back. Go back. I'll get help. Be right back. Molly. Yes, darling. There. There is no help. Molly. Go back. Silence, sir. Good. Divert the infantry to the left. Yes, sir. Corporal. Yes, sir. Or our flank, charge the hill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I thought you silenced that cannon. So did I, sir. I'll silence him for sure this time. Good. See that you do. We've got to take that hill at all costs. Yes, sir. These rebels, what keeps them fighting? sneak through and shoot Molly Pitcher. And he might just make it. Stand by to activate the materialization chamber. Yes, sir. Okay, Jack. Throw the switch. Be careful, Captain.
Okay, Jet. Take me back. Molly Hayes. General Washington. My deepest sympathy, madam. Your husband was a brave and fearless soldier. I. But words cannot describe the courage you have shown this day. Me, sir. Carrying water to the men and manning your husband's cannon when he fell. Yours is the courage and fighting spirit of a freedom-loving people. The name Molly Pitcher has been a watchword on the field of battle this day. Molly Pitcher? Captain Molly Pitcher Hayes of the Continental Army. Captain Molly Pitcher Hayes. Molly Pitcher Hayes. A woman? A captain in the Continental Army? That's right, Jet. General Washington retired her on half pay for the rest of her life. And America still remembers her as a brave and courageous woman, as well as a devoted wife and a mother. again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth, where Captain Zero and his associates conduct another experiment in time and space. <laughs> 